Okay, everyone. You guys are waiting for this. We've already completed the first game, Crash Bandicoot. Then the second game, Crash Bandicoot 2. And now, we reach the third one. It's Crash Bandicoot 4! And this is one game I'm looking forward to doing for some time. This is gonna be a fun ride, I assure you. No, I'm actually meaning this. Crash Bandicoot Warped? I am hyped. So let us get started. Uka Uka is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None have dared fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice! Great Uka Uka! It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed but since your bumbling has managed to set me free i am feeling generous there is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet and this time this time the great uka uka will make sure that you do it right After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. There's no words that can describe it. Yep, you can obviously guess. Uka Uka is free and now has teamed up with Cortex to recover the crystals. And unlike the previous two games, yeah, Coco is unlocked from the start. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth. Let us get started. Like in the previous game, there are five areas. We start with the first one, Toad Village. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. We shall see. And yeah, this is one game that I love to go back and play. Why? Simple, because out of all the Crash games, this is the best of them all. Everyone has their opinions, and Crash 3 is still my favorite hands down. And it's still, without a doubt, my favorite of the Crash games. All the previous moves that you had from Crash 2 return here in Crash 3. But yeah, 
It is good to reach this game. We finally made it to the third one. Crash Bandicoot 3 warped. And yeah, they've also added that. And also a bunch of other things along the way. But yeah, out of all the Crash games, this is going to be one that I will be spending a lot more than the others. And for a very good reason. Not only because we have to not only get all the crystals, but also all the gems, all the relics, and we also got to cover the level Future Tense, which is a new level exclusive to Crash 3, similar to Stormy Ascent in the original. Not to mention, now it, it feels perfect. Whether on the PS1 or this, I still enjoy Crash Bandicoot Warp. And plus, it's a game I can always go back to again and again. No, I'm actually not kidding. I love Crash Bandicoot 3 so much that it's my favorite out of the three games. Not to mention, it provides the right amount of challenge. Right amount of challenge, difficulty, and so much more. Trust me, this vi this playthrough is probably going to be 11 or 12 parts long. Since I've already mentioned it. that have threatened me yet. And yep, we still gotta get crystals just like in the previous game. Except here, well, they carry a lot more importance. And in the pause menu, yeah, 25 crystals, 47 gems, and 31 relics. We have to get 30 relics just to at least reach the true ending. Nice. That's one crystal in the bag. Or, and one gem. Not to mention we gotta get the relics here too. And like in the original, they're needed to acquire the true ending of the game. Next stop, under pressure. And we're going through each level one by one by one. Depending on how slow or how fast I get it done. Yeah. Another thing I like about this level is that this one has its own fair share of gimmicks. For example, one such gimmick has Crash Bandicoot underwater. Man. I need two boxes in this level. All right then. Let's hope we can pull this off. Yeah, you also notice that many of the boxes we find, they're hidden. Dang it, why did I get hit by that? That's just dumb. Wasn't there supposed to be like some sort of machine that we have to ride on? Ah, there it is. That's what we need. 
Yeah, I'm a bit trigger happy. You gonna have to go around. Much better. Six out of ninety two. Done and done. Time to return back. Two crystals and two gems so far. Not bad. I'm liking how this is coming along. Now the next one, Orient Express. Yep, it's Coco's time to shine. Hold run for top speed. Your control suffers though. As much as I want to rely on top speed, nah. 51. Well, she has her own. B to jump, A is to run fast. I could run fast, but no, I need control. Though the only time I want to run fast is when I need to get the relics. What are these guys doing? Dragon! I'm gonna need all the extra lives I can get. But like in the original, yeah, you could have 99 as the maximum. Whenever you see that, don't jump. Well, not bad. I'm actually doing this well enough. Even in the Great Wall of China, I gotta deal with these guys. Seriously? Nuts, I missed one! You know what? I may as well die because, yeah, if you miss one, you gotta start again. You can't make mistakes. Thankfully, at least the checkpoint system is still good. Now I got it. And our work is done. These two really do get along. And that makes three crystals and three gems. Original, she doesn't have that. This makes up for it. Next stop, number four, Boneyard. Uka Uka and Cortex want tiny get crystals and bring them to Big Coliseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny or crash get crashed! Your threats are empty, Tiny. And that means we need to unlock a new path by earning the red gem. You know what that means, right? Backtracking. 
What was it? That's nice. Oh, jeez. Triceratops. Yeah, just you wait. We won't have to worry about dealing with that. What have we got? Excellent. Not bad. Yep, I am focused. And we gotta watch out for that guy. There's the red gem path. Don't worry about that. Buzz off, freak. And they brought the nitros back. Just make sure you stay away. May as well take the bonus stage. This won't be that difficult. Alright, there you go. Yeah, these are easy. I play this game so much, I've memorized it. Or if you can tell from my stream that I did last year, it's also proof of that. Buzz off, man. That was made easy. Hmm? Missed one. Ceratops again. What? No, seriously, what was I doing? Oh my Take that hit. And it got me. And I'm only eight, eight crates away. Wait, how did I end up getting burned? Oh wait, because of the timing and the jump? Yeah. Nitros? Yeah, I got it! Thank goodness that I did. We'll be getting another one eventually. Once we get the other gems. The colored ones. Alright, good. Now we move on to number five. Making waves. Coco, it's your turn to shine. Don't let us down. You gotta complete the course to earn the power crystal. Which also now brings up another issue. Yeah, they kind of made the controls for this a bit too realistic. 
and I kind of like them how they were in the original. Now you're just skidding. It's like you're riding on a real jet ski, which truthfully I don't like. And I know a lot of people had complaints about it too. I wish they didn't change the controls of the ski-based levels. Because I actually kind of like them. Really? What? Ah. <sighs> I kinda liked them when they were in the original. At least they controlled better. The controls at least were a bit better. And yeah, I will be covering the two hidden levels that are in this game. There are actually two hidden levels and in order to get like, like, I don't know, 104% or 107%, you gotta make sure you do. Bad twenty out of thirty seven. Nice. Move the bomb out of the way. Oh, jeez. Too close. Too close for comfort. Yay! Again. Really? Really, you're blaming me for this? Ah! What? Oh, you can even use the B button as well. Ah, uh, not this part. It's easy to avoid if you're simple enough. Come on. Good. At least I got the gem and that's good enough for me. I can never understand some of these levels, I swear. Good. And now it's boss time. We face off against Tiny Tiger. If you're asking for a fight, be my guest. The hint? Sometimes he attacks too aggressively. I wonder, last time we fought this guy, well, he wasn't really that hard. 
Yep, now he does this. And after four jumps, he'll just slam with right with the trident. Oh, please. Yeah, not even the shaking's gonna help ya. What's wrong? Is that it? Come on, that is pathetic. And also, if you try to cheese your way out of it, they'll be actually legitimately... Ah. You'll act... What I mean to say is... If they act, if you try to cheese your way out of that, like going all the way to the side and avoiding it, they'll actually throw cheese at you. Are you serious? Yeah, you also notice that. This is no glitch, I tell you. I never had that much of a hard time with this guy, but this takes the cake. One more and he's going down. Yeah, disappoint me. And they're not doing the wave. What is this? This is just so stupid. Done and done. Thank God. And we get the supercharged body slam. For a more powerful belly flop, press the B button to jump, and then press the A when you reach the top. There you go. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Good, we're going to need it. And that takes care of Tiny Tiger. So yeah, next time we're going to be moving on to part two. And this is the area here if you want to try your luck at doing future tents. So I'm going to end it here. I will see you in part two of Crash 3. That is going to be it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click on the bell. We're in for the long haul. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.